Cinema Classics is brought to you by the Gateway Film Center, 1550 North High Street, Columbus, Ohio. For their details and showtimes online at gatewayfilmcenter.org. The award-winning Cinema Classics is produced by John DeSando and Johnny DiLoretto. Listen to the shows and read reviews online at wcbe.org. I'm Johnny DiLoretto. I'm John DeSando. This is Cinema Classics. It sure is. We, we just, lost another one. I was just going to say, we lost. <laughs> I know it, I know. We lost the Cinema Classic. <laughs> oh my gosh, Sam Shepard. That's right. I mean, I don't know many actors who also want to pull a surprise. Yeah, maybe <laughs> none. <laughs> right, I sure can't think of it. All right, Barry Child was his great play. Mm -hmm. It's a minimalist play. And as in he's others, he's a minimalist actor. Boy, he is. Although at six feet two, he seems like he's six feet eight. Yeah. Uh, just a lanky guy gave you the impression he was from the Wild West, and he wasn't. Right. But he was just that kind of craggy faced, um, l l that sense loner, maybe outsider, mm -hmm. uh, whose very persona allowed him to play and be nominated for an Oscar for playing Chuck Yeager. Yeah, in, which. The Maybe right it stuff. remains his best role. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I was always thinking, like, Sam Shepard, why wasn't he a bigger movie star? Why didn't he get, you know, those parts that, especially after playing Chuck Yeager, yeah. uh, that would have made him a household name or a box office draw? He was never that. He was right. never a household name nor a box office That's draw. That's correct. I, um, I don't think he could have opened a film. Although, yeah. Ironically enough, the film that will be coming out, he is headlining. Uh, it's called Never Hear Paul, Never Hear, and he, uh, he plays Paul Stark in a film about a female photographer. Okay, uh, he's the anyway, lead. Yeah, he's the lead. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I just don't see him ever having done that. Uh -huh. Now, do you think it's because he really didn't care that much? Yeah, I don't know if maybe you know maybe his uh, origins as a playwright. Um, might have kept him a little less inclined to, you know, go after the bigger roles yes. or seek that that sort of uh, brighter star. Um, it is interesting, and not a lot of people, it seemed, talked enough about him being uh, a Pulitzer Prize-winning sure. playwright, actor. You know, yeah, yeah. Um, but he was always interesting to watch. Oh, oh my. I mean, he was most more recently in Midnight Special where he played the cult leader Calvin yeah. Meyer. Right, right. You know, That's I mean, right. He, I forgot about right, that. Right. You know, imposing guy. Mm -hmm. you, you, uh, before that, he was in Out of the Furnace in 2013, which was a yeah, good Yeah, I didn't film. see that one. Yeah, and he played, a, he was, uh, I think he was nominated for an Oscar and he played the older brother. Mm -hmm. uh, so, he was also recently uh, featured in the very popular network, sh uh, sorry, he was also featured uh, prominently in the recent Netflix series, Bloodline, Oh, where he was the angry patriarch oh. who, with uh, some dark secrets. Well, that's interesting. Great. Yeah. So, did he die, did I read this right, he died of complications from Lou Gehrig's? Exactly. So, it just seems like we just saw him on, on camera a few a couple of years ago. Sure. Well, of course, the Midnight Special, and even now with a film that will be coming out that he's starring in. Yeah. So yeah. I wonder how you know this terrible disease. This is one him so quickly. One tough guy. Uh, he was also in Mud, which I thought was a great film, with Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. Uh, and um, oh Lord, uh, many others. Uh, one that fit him perfectly was a general. With a big cigar and Black Hawk down. <laughs> and, uh, that's right. You know, that's right. Would... See how he quietly amassed this <laughs> filmography, just like his persona. Quiet. Yes. Gruff. Right. Uh, soft spoken. You know. Oh yeah. Sometimes very sweet. Do you remember he was in Baby Boom, the Diane Keaton? Oh movie? my gosh. He was the, he was the country I doctor should... that she falls in love with. Oh my lord! I forgot all about that one because the one in my heart, 1992, was Thunder Heart. Mm. And, I, I haven't seen that. Yeah, about. and that was something to do out west in the Dakotas with. Uh, yeah, it was a uh, like an, a, an FBI investigation, yes, right? Yes, exactly. And I think he played an agent, and uh, he was so imposing to me. And and even now, not all of his plays were made into films, mm -hmm. but one there were two of them that I can think of made into films that you might remember. Yeah, 
The first one would be Fool for Love. I and, know the play. Yeah, all right. And then, but more than that, Paris, Texas. Oh, yeah, I do remember that. That's right. Was that a play, or he just wrote yeah, the screenplay? Yeah, it was. And, and uh, no, you may be right. It may have been. I think he, he just wrote, wrote the, screen the screenplay. Play. Right, yeah. But that's with Harry Dean Stanton. And, and Dennis Hopper, right? Yeah, it came right after uh, Right Stuff. So, uh -huh. 1982. Okay. Right Stuff in 1984 for that one. Now, uh, there's a, a movie we cannot fail to mention. Uh oh. They came out. I uh -oh. think in 1974, you'd have to correct me. Whoa, little... that's earlier than I even have in my filmography. 1978. Let me see. Oh, okay. 19... I see. I thank <laughs> okay. you for printing out the uh, Days of Heaven, oh, yeah. which is Terrence Malick's uh, romantic lyrical film with Richard Gere. You, you bet. Remember that? What a beautifully photographed, and who could fit better? Into quiet, that, as if quiet farmer, farmer, yeah, <laughs> and then with you know falling in love with uh, I think it was Brooke Adams that's in that movie with, <laughs> with him, and it's uh, wow, just what a powerhouse movie, maybe the best thing he's ever been in. Yeah, yeah, he, he was in. Now other things that he wrote that weren't made into films. Mm -hmm. True West, of course, was a play that he made into a TV movie. Uh, Far North, a um, Zabriskie Point. Yeah. Way back in 1970. Zabriskie Point. Now that's a. Uh, that Anto wasn't that Antonio. Antonio, you got it. You, you got know, it. Yeah. What was he was in it or he? Uh, no, he wrote it. He wrote. Zabriskie he wrote it. Yeah, he wrote the screenplay for Zabriskie really? Point. Yeah. See. The collegiate. I, I should listen to this show. <laughs> And then another one I don't know anything about that really first started in 69 called Me and My Brother. Okay. Which apparently was very well. Wow, what an interesting mashup of talents. <laughs> Michelangelo Antonioni <laughs> and Sam Shepard. <laughs> right. Now, there in two th here's one that passed me by. Last year, a film of Buried Child. This is a Pulitzer Prize winner starring Ed Harris. I knew nothing about it. Well, probably Ed Harris didn't know about it either. <laughs> You know, but isn't it? Probably somebody came to Ed Harris and said, hey, you realize that you started in this adaptation of... <laughs> no one heard of it. I don't know. I, you know, some... It's interesting The you know, so many films produced these days. Uh, yeah. More films than ever. Some of them just slip through the cracks, John. You can't... You're not, you know, omniscient. Uh, one of the... One of them, maybe like this one, just went straight to video. Perhaps, yeah, yeah. or... And, you know, I don't know if it ended up on one of these streaming services like Amazon or Netflix, but I haven't heard of it. Right. Uh, he was, in 2013, in what I thought to be a fine play, made into an okay movie, uh, August Osage County. Mm -hmm. And um, he... He was the, the dad. The guy definitely did. did not stop working. He worked. <laughs> you, you wouldn't look at this filmography. I got a couple of pages of this. Yeah. No other artist has ever won 10 Obies for writing and directing. Wow. Than Sam Shepard. Obies. Yeah. What is that? Oh, that's like a, um, plays, mm. you know, uh, big prizes. Are there play, it's specifically playwrights? Playwrights and awards? directors for plays. Okay. Yeah. Wow. How about 10? 10. Man. Boy, this guy, see, and he doesn't, he doesn't crow about it. No. He wasn't out there. He just quietly appeared in yeah. nearly every film ever made. And I think, <laughs> I think, in addition to, uh, he was associated with several women, most famously with Jessica Lange. Yeah, was he, were they... You know, I don't know if they were married or not, but it was several years, and I thought that was one cool Surely combination. they must have been in a film together, no? Uh, probably, but, uh, but for sure. So, we're going to miss... Yeah. At least you and I are going to miss. Well, I will miss him. <laughs> I always like to see his face pop up. I, I knew I was, you know, I knew I was in for some quiet, effective acting. And for those of us who are watching our video, if they can see the image I have up here. Yeah, he, I can't see it. What he, is it? He looks like hell. Oh, does he? <laughs> and so he's the craggy guy I would have expected would have gone out of this, like, looking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> looking. Terribly disturbed, uh, looking terribly disturbed, distant, and thoughtful. Yeah.